Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened Int LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan on the global side of the game. Now, this is an EZA that has received a lot of disrespect and criticism, some of which has come from yours truly. So in today's video, we're going to find out whether or not all of that was deserved or if this EZA is a lot better than some people say it is. Now, before we get into the showcase, I do want to quickly go over his details. So if you guys already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so starting with his leader skill, it's int types key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%. His 12k super attack raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And then his 18k super greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. His passive is defense plus 58% plus an additional defense plus 58% when performing a super attack. Attack plus 18% per key sphere obtained plus an additional key plus 1 per key sphere obtained. And as you can see, his links are about halfway leveled up but not really close to maxed out. And that is everything you need to know about the EZA int LR Gohan. Now from there, we're going to jump into the GT Legendary Goku event. The team we're running is Hybrid Saiyans. And we've got kind of a dream rotation here. For the first rotation, we got the Gohan with a 50% support in this Gohan and a 40% support in this Trunks. And this is going to be, I want to say, kind of misleading. Because he's starting with 158,182 defense, which is amazing, right? Especially because he does get more defense on the super. So starting with this much defense is awesome. But I say it's misleading because of all the support, right? So on an average turn, you should be expecting, like for a Rainbow Gohan, probably around like 100,000 defense before the super. But why don't we jump into it here. Uh, let's actually move the support Gohan in the first slot. We'll give one orb to him. And that's going to be 10 orbs. Okay, 10 orbs for the Int LR Gohan. A ton of attack there. And uh, this will be a very, very good first turn. I think it's going to actually set the bar a little bit too high. <laughs> but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I think after people see this, they're going to be expecting a lot for the rest of the showcase, and we might not really be able to reach these heights again. But there we go, man. The dream rotation, 10 orbs, double supports, over 7 million attack on the first turn. That is really, really good. That is very, very impressive. Damn, that's actually... <laughs> I want to say that's the best first rotation I've ever had uh, with the EZA Gohan since I fully streamed Z Awakened him uh, yesterday. I've run him on like a few events, and I've never had a rotation like that. So it's, I guess it's fortunate that in the showcase, we got that. But as I said before, man, try to keep your expectations a little bit under control. You can try to manage your expectations a bit because... That's not really what he's going to be doing every single turn. But for now, because we have the Orb Changer, we should be seeing some pretty good turns. Okay, so now we can link up the Gohan with one of his best linking partners in the game, which is the AGL LR Gohan. They share... It should be five links, right? Yeah, they have these three links, plus Kamehameha and Legendary Power upon Super. So five links in total. Now we have 128,000 defense because obviously we have one less support, which is still really good though. And uh, let's do, I guess we'll do five, ooh, okay, this is kind of tricky. So we can either do six orbs, but not get a full 24 key super, or five orbs, and get a 24 key super. I think this makes more sense, though. I think getting more orbs is more important for this Gohan. Uh, unless we do this, and maybe I'll give these to the AGL Gohan first. And then now, now we don't have to choose. Now we can get six orbs and a 24 key super. Perfect. 
and we'll give uh, these to the int support Gohan. You know, I didn't realize how many attacks there were in the last slot. Uh, this could be a bad time. <laughs> this could be a bad time. Alright, so int LR Gohan, 5.8 mil with 6 orbs, 50% support. Hopefully get a crit here. He has a very high crit chance, man. Yo, I gave this guy like a bunch of skill orbs too. He has 42% chance to crit. And he's just not doing it right now. That kind of sucks. Alright, so we're going to get supered. Uh, you know, better than I expected. I'll say that for sure. Be better than I expected. Okay, so on this rotation, I'm going to try my best to actually stack up the um, the Trunks and Goten. Because, you know, we have the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku at the end who's a tech type. So these guys need to be able to hold up defensively against him. But obviously this rotation doesn't matter too much. We're trying to showcase the Intel or Gohan. Who up to this point, let's be honest, has looked very, very good, right? But I think the next turn is going to be the first turn where he has no support and no orb changer. Let's see how many orbs we can get here. Obviously, I'm going to try to maximize the number of orbs we get every single turn. But uh, it looks like there's going to be a pretty big drop off here. Um, okay, so I'm going to put Intel or Gohan here. And this is kind of his actual defense without any support. 97,897. This is why I've said in the past, right? I don't really think he's a good slot one unit with this EZA because 100,000 is good for like Dokkan events and stuff like that. But when you're talking about like Extreme Super Battle Road or the later stages of this event and stuff like that, uh, it's really not going to hold up. This much defense before the super is not going to hold up in the first slot, which is why he's still primarily going to be a slot two unit in most situations. But let's leave him in the first slot. Let's see how much the first attack does. And the most orbs you can get in the first slot here is four. So still going to be an 18 key super, but significantly less orbs than we used to get or we got before. And so uh, we'll just get some supers for these guys. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're taking a normal for 25k. Yeah. A little rough. A little rough. 25k is not 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 great. Um, the super was about 3.3 mil with four orbs, which is also not that good. As you can see, though, his defense, his tanking becomes way way better after the super, which is why you want to have him in the second slot as uh, often as you can. So yeah, big drop off in damage with no support here, with only four orbs. And that's kind of been the main complaint with his EZA, right? The fact that even though he has the potential to hit very, very hard, um, he also has the potential on average to be pretty uh, lackluster, I guess would be the right term, right? Kind of kind of disappointing because if you don't have that, that orb changer, then on most turns, you know, if we're talking like just on average, he's probably not going to be getting more than four maybe five orbs a turn and that's if you're lucky and yeah with only four or five orbs he's getting 3.5 you know 3.4 3.5 million maybe if he's maxed out uh like links wise then close to four but it's still it's not a ton of damage and it would have been nice for him to actually get like a base boost as well on top of the 18 percent so he's not relying on getting orbs so much right that would have been a nice change to see with the eza that we never got which uh kind of sucks it kind of sucks okay uh 122 000 defense here with the support from trunks uh we can get eight orbs which is nice but i'm definitely scared of a super a super in the first slot would be very rough so let's actually put agl gohan there uh, I don't want to take the STR orbs. So let's give these to HL Gohan. And that's going to be still eight orbs. Nice. So with the super, I'm less concerned. That's still four attacks in the middle, but he should be able to withstand those after he supers. 
I think at least. We'll find out. Okay, so the super is definitely in the middle. Super is definitely in the middle. That's that'll be fun. Uh, about six million attack stack there. T attack stat there. Give me a crit. Thank you. Good damage. Took a double digit normal. The super is gonna hit for. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Ouch. Ouch. That was uncalled for. That was unfortunate. So uh Yeah, you still gotta be careful with those with those supers, guys. <laughs> In case you weren't aware. That, that's still a concern. Um luckily what we can do here is Hold on, let me see. Man, I want to get those tech orbs though for for the Gohan to heal us up, but we can't really grab those right now. Let me see. Maybe we'll just Princess Snake this turn. Probably wasn't needed, but better safe than sorry. And uh, hopefully we can get a super off with the Trunks and Goten, because they need to build up their defense, man. I'm getting really concerned about when we face the, the, the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Because they're going to take a lot of damage in this state right now, if they don't get at least 300,000 defense. Which is not looking good right now, because they're not getting a lot of supers with them. Thank you. That additional was very much needed. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, triple super. Gonna raise defense three times. Okay, that was good. That was good. Yeah, I'm still reeling a little bit, man, from that super attack we took, though. Oh, so much damage. 260k. Like, I know this guy hits hard. Don't get me wrong. I remember, like, how hard these enemies hit, but that that was still kind of crazy. Um, whoa. Okay, so we lowered. We got our defense lowered, right, from that super. And now we're down to 79,600, even with a 50% support. So I'm definitely not going to put him there. Let's just... Uh, Finish off the Super Saiyan 3 Goku with the AGL Gohan. And uh, we actually have a Dokkan attack coming up, but I'm gonna not get it this turn. We're gonna save it for next turn when we face the Golden Great Ape. Yeah, this should finish him off. So it's at this point in the showcase, right, where like things get a little bit real and I actually have to like make adjustments to my rotations as opposed to just like showcasing the main unit. I have to make adjustments so that I don't end up dying right that's the main concern right now so let's uh ooh, okay yeah let's put gohan there we are gonna be getting a doken attack i would like to save it for the agl lr gohan but i don't think that's really possible so we'll just give it to tech ultimate gohan he should still do some good damage with the double supports here getting supered let's see what he takes 109 damage yeah okay <laughs> okay, good try. Good try. Two, three, four, five, six. Very nice. Five million attacks that. Um Like I talked about, man, in the Halloween banner review yesterday. This tech ultimate Gohan, or just tech Gohan that can become ultimate Gohan, uh, is still one of the best units in the game, no question. You know, no, no question, one of the best units in the entire game. If you guys uh, don't have him, it makes that Halloween banner so much more valuable. You know, and it's kind of hard to like rec recommend a complete skip for like people who are missing a lot of those units, especially the Tech Gohan, just because of how good these guys are. Um. Okay, so let's do. Three, oh, six orbs for him, actually. And then we're gonna do nine orbs for the Int LR Gohan. We're back to 97,000 defense now. And uh, we should be fine defensively with the friend Ultimate Gohan, too, I think. Should be okay. I mean, obviously, not nearly as tanky as my Gohan, because we haven't been stacking him as much. But after the super, he should be close to 300,000 defense. 
Um, so not really a big concern. 5.7 mil. Ready Gohan, very nice. The last stage is where this guy's gonna feast, right? That's where he's gonna have type advantage and he should be uh, doing some good things against that full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. We just gotta get there though. We just gotta get there. <laughs> Okay, ooh, perfect. So, I'm gonna keep the Ultimate Gohan basically untransformed uh, the entire time because we just don't really need to transform him. And obviously that would take the focus away from the Intel our Gohan if I were to transform him. So we're gonna keep him in his current state. Still doing some very good things obviously because he's stacked up so much at this point that he's basically untouchable. And uh, we're going to keep stacking these guys too, so we can withstand some attacks in the final stage. Um, but so far, overall assessment of the Int Eller Gohan, the unit that we're showcasing here, I want to say he's about what I expected. He's about what I expected. Um, oh. Well, <laughs> looks like our showcase got cut cut short a little bit. Um, that happens sometimes, guys. That 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 happens sometimes. Um, to be fair, I think we've seen enough. <laughs> it would have been nice to to make it to the final stage. It would have been nice to finish the event, but I think we've seen enough from the Int LR Gohan. To at least get a good feel for what he's about okay so obviously it was not intentional i did not want to die there i kind of lost focus i guess um so that's my bad but in terms of <laughs> the overall assessment of super saiyan 2 gohan's extremes the awakened performance um i would say yeah it, it, he's what i thought he was you know Still good damage, but not consistent damage. And it would have been nice to get some more consistency with some base attack, right? Some some like guaranteed attack, as opposed to just relying on key orbs, key spheres, like before. And defensively, you know, his defense can be pretty good now, but it's still not amazing. Okay, his defense is still not amazing, and I think that in about 6 to 12 months he's once again gonna be kind of unusable you know because like right now it's just good enough to include him on teams for harder events right it's just good enough to like include him for the gt legendary goku event extreme super battle road and so on and so forth but when we get harder stages harder events in the coming months um it's probably not gonna be good enough anymore and the thing that's kind of upsetting is the fact that we're not going to be getting an extreme, extreme Z awakening anytime soon, right? Like, we're not going to get a second awakening on top of the ZZA. So it would have been nice to see him be a little bit more future-proof, if you will. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, man, I think he's about as good as as, as I thought. Um, he's a good EZA, but could have been better. He's kind of average. And that's how I really feel about it, man. That That's how I really feel about it. The standard for LR EZAs has been set pretty high by some of the other LR Extreme Z Awakenings. So because of that, Gohan just doesn't really compare favorably, I feel like, to LR Broly, to Goku and Frieza. Um, maybe even Bardock, I think, got a better EZA. So yeah, those are my final thoughts, guys. Uh, once again, my bad for dying. It was really not intentional, but... Sometimes just you're not paying attention. I was talking about other stuff and I just kind of forgot to move my guys around. So it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hopefully you saw enough from Gohan as well to make your own, form your own opinions. And uh, let me know if you are impressed or disappointed or kind of like me, you know, just kind of somewhere in between. Somewhere in between disappointed and impressed. Just kind of okay in the middle that that's how i feel right now and i think that's just really what this eza is at the end of the day not overly impressive 
not overly unimpressive is good is good so there you go uh that's gonna be today's video guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out